mula dari sebelah kiri uh, Saudara Lau Teg Hai, Ketua Penerangan Angkatan Muda uh, Saudara Tian Chua, Ketua Penerangan uh, Saudara Tan Sri Khalid Ibrahim, Setiausaha Agong Dan uh, Saudara William, William Leo, uh, Bendahari Agong Jadi uh, kita akan mulakan dengan Saudara William Ya, kita silakan Good morning We would like to comment on the appointment of the Royal Commission of Inquiry on the Lingam video clip. Pati Kaladinam Raya welcomed the appointment of the Royal Commission. The party had asked for the Royal Commission from the beginning when the video clip was released on September 19, 2007 to inquire into the proper appointment of sen improper appointment of senior positions in the judiciary. We had also, from the beginning, asked that the Royal Commission be formed to inquire into the corruption in the judiciary and to restore confidence of the public in the judiciary and the rule of law. This should have been done earlier instead of the appointment of a panel that did not have proper powers. Although the Commission is now formed, we are concerned with the composition of the panel. We are concerned that it is not appropriate for three of the persons named to be in the panel of Commission of Inquiry. They are Tan Sri Haida Mohammad Noor, Datuk Mahadev Shankar, and Tan Siri Ama Steve Shim Lip Kyo. The reasons are as follows. The video clip is part of the larger picture of the erosion of public confidence in the judiciary. The erosion of public confidence in the judiciary started with the sacking of Tun Muhammad Saleh Abbas in 1988. Tan Sri Haida Muhammad Noor was then the Chief Registrar of the Supreme Court. And it is reported in the law reports in the case of Attorney General of Malaysia against Manjit Singh that Tan Sri Haida played a role in denying the court facilities to the Supreme Court judges in hearing an application to restrain the tribunal from submitting his report to impeach Abdul Saleh to the king. The report, and I'm quoting the report, says, So when it became apparent that there was a possibility that a special sitting of the Supreme Court may be convened without Tun Hamid's authority. Tun Hamid issued instructions to the Chief Registrar, then Tan Sri Mahmoud. No. That the court staff should not attend and assist such a sitting. Tan Sri Wan Sulaiman and the other four judges were informed by the Chief Registrar of this when they decided to accede to the request of Tun Salih's solicitors for a special sitting that Saturday morning. They nevertheless held a sitting and made the interim orders. When the judges made the interim orders, they were suspended. The Supreme Court judges that were suspended were Wan Sulaiman, George Edward Sia, Asmi Kamaruddin, Yusofi Abdul Qadir, and Wan Hamza. These judges, on 6 of July 1988, issued a press statement on the day they were suspended. <coughs> and part of that press statement says this. We would add that when we sought to sit in court, we were informed by the Chief Registrar of the Supreme Court, Haida bin Muhammad Noor, that instructions had been given by Tan Sri Abdul Hamid bin Haji Omar the acting Lord President, that none of the court staff should be present in court and the court doors should be 
not be open and we should not have the use of the facilities of the court, including the seal of the Supreme Court. In those circumstances, it even became necessary for Tan Sri Wan Sulaiman himself, as the presiding judge, to sign the order which we made, which in fact should have been the duty of the Chief Registrar of the Supreme Court. In these circumstances, Tan Sri Haida Muhammad Noor shall be required to attend before the Royal Commission to explain his role in these proceedings. The role in which the judiciary started to erode. Therefore, it is inappropriate for him to hit the Commission and also to be a member. Further, both Tan Sri Haida Muhammad Noor and Datuk Mahathir Shankar were members of the first panel appointed by the cabinet to look into the authenticity of the video clip. They have taken part in the proceedings and they have submitted their report to the cabinet. In the circumstances, it is inappropriate for both Tan Sri Haida Muhammad Noor and Datuk Mahathir Shankar to be present in the commission. With regard to Tan Sri Amar Steve Shim Kion, his name is mentioned in the video clip by Dr. Kielinger as having been conferred the award of Tan Sri. It is therefore inappropriate for Tan Sri Steve Shim Kion to be investigating into the video clip where his name is mentioned. Although it may not be a significant feature, it will be inappropriate for him at that stage in time when the video clip is played. So we call upon the Prime Minister to reconsider the appointment of the three persons in the circumstances. We also call on these three persons to recuse themselves from the Commission, that is, to resign not to, and not to take up the Commission it is because this commission is going to be the first step to rectify the problems in the judiciary. It is important that the work of the commission is not to be affected by members of the commission being seen to have an interest in the proceedings. It is important that the commission and the members of the commission be impartial and not to have any conflict of interest. And because justice must not only be done, but must be seen to be done, their presence would be seen to be having tainted the proceedings and being impartial. With regard to the terms of reference of the Commission, we are disappointed. The panel appointed by the Cabinet has already spent much time and given their report on the authenticity of the video clip. Yet, the Commission is again given the same <coughs> reference to look into the authenticity of the video clip. So it is redundant. It is also too narrow because what is needed is to be looking into the state of the judiciary. What is needed is for the Commission to inquire into the causes for the erosion of public confidence in the judiciary and to recommend action that the judiciary will function without fear or favour that all, including ordinary citizens as well as the rich and the powerful are equal before the law and that the country and the courts follow the rule of law, the separation of powers of government, and that we are a functioning democracy. So we call on the Prime Minister to review the terms of the reference and not allow the opportunity to restore the judiciary to its proper place to be visited. Thank you.